Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this latest Scan Tool Network video. In this video, it's a really quick demonstration of the Autel Maxicom MK808 diagnostic package. Uh, we have this hooked up to the diagnostic port, as you can see there on this VW Polo. We have the airbag light showing on the dashboard, and I'm going to show you how to diagnose and reset that with this tool. Now, this kit is available and just by clicking the link directly below this video. The link will take you to the, uh, the current listing and the cheapest listing you can buy for this particular product. Uh, enough of that though, we'll go to diagnostics. Sorry about if you get any glare on the screen here, but uh, it is quite a sunny day. So we're gonna select our vehicle, we'll go to system selection, establishing communication, and I'm gonna click on to uh, Polo, which one is it? 6R, let's try. Control unit, uh, co engine control. I've just realized I've selected the wrong option actually. We need to select the, the airbag system, so I'll have to go back to that once it gets in. So we'll click on escape. Right, we need to find the airbag system. Sorry about that. Um, let's see, airbag 15. Okay, so we're going to read the trouble codes and um, we've got three fault codes showing up on the screen here. Um, two of them seem to relate to the airbag system, front passenger airbag system. Now uh, what we did is we simply unclipped a connection underneath the passenger seat to actually um, cause this fault and well actually no, one of them is a, an airbag fault in fact. Let me just what I'm going to do here is just pop that down there, one second. I'm going to see if I can reach under and plug this airbag back in. There we go, I think that's gone back in there now. But you'll see the airbag light is still is still on the dashboard there. So we use this tool now to click on clear DTCs. Just click yes to that. When I click yes, just keep an eye on the airbag light. And there we go, the airbag light has gone. So assuming that you've uh, found the fault, you've read the fault codes, you've actually um, fix the fault so you might need to so example change a sensor um, or wiring some set of wires somewhere along the line once you've done that you can come back into the vehicle with the uh, the tool and reset the trouble codes and it will get rid of the warning light there but the mk808 is available uh, just by clicking the link directly below this video and i hope this video has helped you